హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ స్నిగ్ధ పానుగంటి కన్సల్టెంట్ జనరల్ ఫిజిషియన్ అండ్ డయాబెటాలజిస్ట్ అట్ పేస్ హాస్పిటల్స్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బ్లడ్ టెస్ట్ ఫాస్టింగ్ బ్లడ్ ఇన్సులిన్ టెస్ట్ మెనీ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఆర్ అవైర్ అబౌట్ ఫాస్టింగ్ బ్లడ్ షుగర్ టెస్ట్ బట్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ నో దట్ టెస్టింగ్ ఇన్సులిన్ లెవెల్స్ అర్లీ కెన్ హెల్ప్ అస్ ఐడెంటిఫై హెల్త్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ బిఫోర్ ద డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ యాక్చువల్ డయాబెటీస్ it's a simple blood test done after 8 to 12 hours of fasting where it measures the amount of insulin in the blood if the insulin levels are high it indicates insulin resistance normally insulin produced by the pancreas helps the cells to utilize the blood glucose but when there is insulin resistance these cells respond poorly to the insulin stimulus so pancreas produces more insulin to help maintain the blood glucose levels in the normal range this is called compensatory hyperinsulinemia this is the earliest sign of insulin resistance because blood sugar levels can be normal even if you have an underlying insulin resistance because insulin resistance develops like 10 years before the development of actual diabetes so to find out insulin resistance early at an early stage where we can prevent development of diabetes by doing lifestyle changes we have to do fasting insulin levels it measures the blood insulin concentration so insulin is a hormone produced by pancreas help cells like liver fat tissue and skeletal muscle utilize the blood glucose levels by testing fasting insulin level we find out the early insulin resistance no usually most health checkups focus on blood glucose and hba1c but in patients who have risk factors like obesity fatty liver pcos and family history of diabetes if you measure the fasting insulin levels you can identify the insulin resistance years before the actual development of diabetes where lifestyle measures can prevent or reduce the risk of development of diabetes yes stress hormones like cortisol and poor sleep can increase the insulin resistance so this test should ideally be done in a well rested state and not during the acute stress periods when the cells respond poorly to the insulin stimulus pancreas try to produce more insulin to maintain the normal blood sugar levels this is called insulin resistance so during this period if we check the fasting insulin test the levels will be usually elevated which indicates an early sign of insulin resistance yes pre diabetes is when the sugars have already raised like fasting blood sugars are between 100 to 126 mg per deciliter and at this stage there is already insulin resistance so when we check blood fasting insulin test at this stage insulin can be high indicating there is high insulin resistance even at this stage if we find that the patient has insulin resistance by doing intensive lifestyle modifications like exercise diet changes we can still bring the sugars down and control the insulin resistance the fasting insulin test the normal range is between 3 to 5 micro international units per liter if it is above this we call as hyperinsulinemia which indicates it's a first sign of insulin resistance it means that the body is already trying to compensate by producing more insulin to maintain the normal blood sugar levels it is an indicator of insulin resistance 
in individuals who have low bmi they can have lower levels that is normal for them but in advanced type 2 diabetes who are on multiple medications in them the low levels indicate that pancreas has exhausted and it is producing very less amount of insulin and in certain cases like type 1 diabetes it's an autoimmune disease where the pancreas is damaged in that case we can find low insulin levels yes diet plays a major role by including whole grains like brown rice millets and reducing the polished rice including a lot of vegetables fruits and consuming low glycemic index food including lentils and beans and healthy fats like nuts we can control the insulin sensitivity because these low glycemic foods will reduce the insulin demand Yes, physical activity is uh, very important to improve the insulin sensitivity. When we are exercising, muscle can take up the glucose even without the presence of insulin. So, aerobic activity like cycling, brisk walking and uh, re resistant training like body weight exercises, when these both are done together, it will show maximum results. And even like 9% of body weight loss can give very good results. If a person has risk factors like obesity, fatty liver, PCOS, family history of diabetes, do it once, fasting insulin test along with the glucose and HbA1c levels. If it is within normal range, you can do it every, every 2 to 3 years. But if it is abnormal, do the lifestyle interventions for 3 to 6 months and recheck it to see the improvement. Yes, insulin resistance is reversible, especially with lifestyle changes like regular exercise, dietary changes, good sleep and stress reduction, insulin resistance can be reduced or completely reversible. If there is insulin resistance going on for longer duration like for 10 years or more, people can end up developing diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol levels, fatty liver and cardiovascular risk will be increased which will increase the risk of coronary artery disease. Because insulin is a fat storage hormone. When there is high insulin for long duration of time, it will promote fat generation and also reduces the breakdown of fat. And the fat will be deposited mostly around your uh, belly area. And it becomes harder to lose the belly fat as we age because of increased insulin resistance. High insulin is not directly linked to cancer development but chronically highly elevated insulin can increase the risk of development of certain cancers like breast cancer, colon cancer and pancreatic cancer. Yes, high insulin levels for long period of time increases the insulin resistance which will increase the risk of developing high cholesterol level, developing hypertension, diabetes which are all the risk factors for the development of cardiovascular disease like coronary artery disease. So in summary, fasting insulin test is a powerful early marker. If caught early with lifestyle changes, insulin resistance can be reversible before the development of diabetes or heart disease.